Hi folks, um, I just wanted to talk about this this intolerance people have towards the gay community. Um, when I was at primary school, as a lot of people um, start off their education, you, in America I believe it's called elementary school, but we were always taught about the creation stories in, in the Bible, Genesis etc, and how God made Adam and Eve and he made the planet and found it all very good, which is a beautiful story um, and at the time I'm sure it served a very good purpose. But when I got to secondary school, I was basically told everything that I was taught in the primary school was just for the ease of understanding the concepts of creation. So now, my question at the time was, if that was a lie in the Bible, in the Old Testament, what else could possibly be a lie? So when I hear all this, this BS about, you know, God made Adam and Eve and not Steve and Steve and all this crap, it really makes my blood boil because, you know, it's established how the earth was created by science. Now, I'm not knocking anyone's belief system. If you want to believe that, that God made the earth and found it all very good, then that's, that's fine. Um, and I'm not a disbelieving God, don't, don't get me wrong. But I question things. Now, I'm pretty sure if Christ was alive today, the, the hatred that he sees from mankind would, would you know, really make him want to blow us off the planet. Um, because I can't understand how this hatred has come into being. Because if you're really Christ-like in, in every way that, you know, the Bible teaches us to act like, then intolerance is a big no-no. Hatred is a big no-no. Not being able to forgive people is a big no-no. So, you know, I would question the wisdom of those Bible bashers out there who, who say, oh, the Bible says this, the Bible says the other. Um, you know, the Bible also said it was perfectly okay for uh, Lot's daughters to be raped, but we wouldn't condone that today. Um, people go to prison for it. People get uh, rehabilitation and um, sexual therapy to, to get over those urges. So, you know, I would ask people, the next time you're ready to point the fingers, just to sit question and, and ask questions. Because for centuries, the, the only people that were able to read and write were the priestly scholars. And they did this, of course, because they didn't want the people to challenge the belief system. Because if you have a society that follows you around like sheep, and believes every word that you say, then of course no one's going to question it. Of course no one's going to put their hand up and say, oh, but Father, you're wrong, or Vicar, you're wrong. This is what it really means. So um, it's not wrong to question these things because all the biblical interpretations were written by mankind to suit someone else's opinions. Now remember, because before St. Augustine um, wrote his rule, he was the worst, you know, slap on the face of the planet. He would sleep with anything and anyone. And then he wrote his rule and said, oh, no, no, it's not, not right. You shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. Now, the rule gives the, the Benedictines a way of life to live by. But someone's had to go out there and discover the pros and cons of it, and that was St. Augustine. So there's a certain amount of hypocrisy there. Uh, what's okay for him then became not okay for his followers. Um, so, you know, think you've been given this wonderful gift called the brain. So think, use it, ask questions. And the next time you, you feel like ridiculing someone because of their sexuality, 
or because of the way they look or because they've got glasses, their height, they're too tall, too skinny, too short, whatever. Just think of the damage that you could be doing to someone because it's not right and it's not really funny. And the thing is that, you know, if God does want us to atone for our sins, each one of those slurs and comments and hurtful things you say, you'll have to account for one day. And, um, you know, I think now is the time to start making amends for that. Okay, now I don't want this to be a preachy thing, but I just want people to kind of think before they cast the next insult at someone. But surely the planet would be a better existence if we liked each other a little bit more. I know it's impossible for people to like everyone, because I certainly can't do it. But, you know, I don't judge people. Um, I remember going to a party once years ago with a friend and um, this friend said to me, oh, that guy over there, he's, he's a miserable looking bugger, not even a smile on his face. And I turned round to that friend of mine at the time and said, do you not think he might have an illness? Maybe he's got Bell's palsy, where his face actually can't smile. And, you know, during the course of the evening, we went over and spoke to the guy, and true enough, he did have Bell's palsy. Um, and my friend afterwards said, oh my God, he's such an, I judge that guy just by looking at him. I feel so bad. And I said, well, you know, it's okay to feel bad because you're learning from the lesson, but just, you know, use that lesson and not be so quick to judge people, okay? Have a good day, people.